What's up guys, Sal here. So Samsung was the first company to use a curved display on their smartphone. The Galaxy Note Edge in 2014 introduced something people didn't see before, a display that curves over the one edge of the phone. Fast forward to 2015, Samsung introduced the Edge screen on both sides on the Galaxy S6 Edge. And ever since, every Samsung flagship has these curved display on both sides. Samsung kept this curved display tech for themselves for so many years until recently they started selling it to other OEMs as well, namely the Chinese smartphone companies such as OnePlus, Oppo and Huawei. Speaking of which, Huawei recently launched its newest flagship, the P40 Pro lineup which has a quad curved display. It's the first time ever we're seeing display technology on a smartphone which includes curved edges on all four corners. It's a really beautiful design but it seems like Samsung plans on taking it a step further. You see the top and bottom curves on the P40 Pro are very subtle. Even though it looks really beautiful but it's not what I expected when I first saw the official renders of the P40 Pro. The actual handset has some bezels on top and bottom and the curves are not really that noticeable. But it looks like Samsung's version will be more drastic with more aggressive curves on top and bottom. As spotted by Let's Go Digital, Samsung filed a patent for a quad curve display and thanks to Let's Go Digital, we have 3D renders of the patented display technology. Looking at the images, the handset has a really unique look and futuristic design as well as a rounded corner. These corners that feature the metallic frame may also serve the purpose of durability, helping the smartphone survive falls. But before you get too excited, let me mention that it's still a patent. It's not into production yet. Companies file for patents all the time. Just because Samsung filed one doesn't mean it's surely getting into the production stage. But that also doesn't mean we won't see this ever go into the production stage. Since companies are running out of ideas to differentiate their phones year over year, I think eventually this is what we're gonna get on the Galaxy S or Note phones. I don't think the Galaxy Note 20 would have it. It's probably too far into the production process to make the use of this patent. I guess we could see this on the Galaxy S21 or S22 perhaps. We've already seen this design executed rather well by Huawei, so I hope Samsung doesn't take years to implement it. The Galaxy S20 lineup had a slow start due to the ongoing issues. But surprisingly, the top-of-the-line Galaxy S20 Ultra is exceeding sales expectations. Initially, Samsung thought that the popular S20 handset is gonna be the entry-level Galaxy S20 due to its lower price tag. But it seems Samsung users are not Apple users. I mean, they're not really as concerned with value as Apple fans. They want the latest and greatest, and that's the reason the S20 Ultra is the most popular S20 variant and in fact is responsible for over half of the all-series sales Samsung made so far. Now Samsung is ramping up the production of the 40 megapixel front camera used by the Galaxy S20 Ultra, implying that there's an even more demand for the handset than what Samsung had expected, which is a significant achievement considering the $1400 price tag and the ongoing issues with the world. Of course, with that being said, do share your thoughts down below in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.